November 1, 2025, Hi, and welcome to 121 Point Mike Ground School. I'm Mike Thompson. This video is on adverse yaw. It's something you're going to be tested on and deal with every time you try to turn the plane. Remember that yaw is rotation about the vertical axis, and it's controlled with the rudder. Adverse is something that's working against you, or is bad. So in this case, it's bad yaw, and it's caused by banking the plane. So when you're in a turn, you want the tail to follow the nose, and everything stays coordinated, right? But when you bank the plane left, the nose will yaw to the right, and vice versa. This is adverse yaw. It's the nose's tendency to yaw the opposite way that you bank. Now why in the world does it do that? And what can we do about it? Well, it does it because it basically has to. When a ring generates lift, it also generates drag. This is induced drag. More lift, more drag. When you deflect an aileron down, you increase the camber of that wing and you create more lift, as well as induced and form drag. When you raise an aileron, you reduce the lift in that area, and that creates less drag. Now this difference in lift is what rolls your plane in the direction you want. But, due to the differences in drag, it's also what yaws the plane in the direction you don't want. If we look at our left turn from the top, we can see that the right wing has more drag than the left one, and this creates a torque to the right, which is in the wrong direction. That's adverse yaw in action and you'll be asked on a test and have to deal with it at least four times per flight. Now what can we do about it? Well, we don't have much say in the design of the plane at this point, but we have rudder pedals, so let's use them. Add rudder to counter the adverse yaw and maintain coordinated flight in your turns. Each plane will be different, of course. Some will need you to lead your turn with the lots of rudder, and others won't. You'll have to figure out what works for your plane, but that's what you do about it. It's caused by a dissymmetry of drag due to ailerons, and it's fixed with the rudder. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. That'll certainly help me out, as we'll leave in a bunch of comments and engaging in lively discussions down below. And what about those shirts? And thanks for staying with me on 121 Point Mike.